Welcome back to another Are Your Designs Any Good episode. This time again with Lauren. I'm back. Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. You all really liked her opinion. You liked it when we did uh, two different opinions and majority of you actually liked her opinion more than you liked mine. So to be honest, I could just leave, <laughs> but I'm not going to. We are going to do this episode together and we've got 10 really cool designs for you. Again, if you want to submit your artwork to us, then to us. to us. That sounds good. <laughs> the link is in the description. Um, you just have to sign up, send your artwork over, and hopefully it will be featured on a future episode. Anyway, without further ado, let's, let's get right into it. So recording the screen on the iPad, everything's good. Right. Okay. I'm only talking. Can you read? No, it's... I'm only talking. No, it's spelt wrong. Okay, to my dog. Oh, fine. I'm only. <laughs> Is it meant to be spelt wrong? No. Tally tal King. Tally King. Okay, whatever. Okay. Besides spelling the spelling, spelling mistake. mistake, there is a spelling mistake. I'm only talking to my dog today. I like it. Um, the dog is quite cute. The dog is cute. It's got like um, puppy eyes. The thing I'm not a fan of the is the, of the sign. sign. Yeah, well done. The, the sign, sign is sign the same is color as a jumper, yeah. and it's hard to see it's a sign, so it, it looks like the dog. A lot more. To me, it looks like, where's the rest of the dog? But we both know that he's behind the sign. Mm. So you just need a bit of a better Different colour. colour. Yeah. Also, oh, I no, don't know. I'm not sure about the red eyes. Looks a bit like a demon dog. Good shout. I think, like... Also, do you think the dog looks stretched out a bit? Look at his ears. No, I think that's just the type... Of, I can't remember what type of dog this is, but... It's the police dogs, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the scary ones. No, I want to run. It's the ones that runs with you when you go running. Are they all run with you? Jumper Shepherd? Shepherd, maybe. We don't really know dogs. We um, just but like yeah, I think buttons. it's just the type of dog. Okay. It has big ears. That is a bit cut off, but... So maybe suggestions would be to um, change the change, eye colour. Change the sign colour. Maybe to... Uh, what colour would you make it? Black? But it depends what colour... It depends what colour the t-shirt is, yeah. Are we done? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, moving on. <laughs> moving Let's on. go. Oh, this person, I like the way he's uh, done it. He's given us very, very nice. Thank you. Right. The, the two funniest people I know, and I'm both of them. <laughs> okay. It's a great phrase. Um, the fonts you've used are brilliant. They all work together. It looks like you've used three or four, one, two, four fonts. What? In my opinion, you use one too many fonts. However, the fonts of use all really go together and People I Know is a very similar font to Of Them. It's just a different shading um, mm. effect, but I think it's a brilliant design. But... What's the matter? Uh, there's something about the phrase that's not quite sitting right with me. What's not the sitting? The two funniest people I know and I'm both of them. I'm like a bit confused with the Oh, fair. It's not that the two funniest people is, I know. Like, I... As in, I don't like it. It wouldn't sound good like this, but there is two funniest people I know. No, there is two funniest. Doesn't make sense either. Yeah, there, there, it would there be, are two funniest. Wait, it would be the two funniest people I know. I'm, I'm both. both of them. Or the two funniest people I know, comma, and I'm both of them. But obviously, you can't have a comma on a t-shirt. That looks weird. The two no, funniest the people... Two. The word that is... No, it's not. The two funniest people I know, and I'm both of them. Does it make sense? It does make sense, okay. but it doesn't make sense when you read it like fast. But anyways, yeah. other than that <laughs> miscommunication, I think it's a really good design. I like uh, the, the, the I placing, guess. I like the font, I like all of that kind of stuff. Same. Nice. Well done. Good work. Moving on. <laughs> Oof, that is a wow. lot of words. Wow, okay. Okay, you go. I'm a mum, granny, and a great granny. Nothing scares me. Are oh, you now? No, I am not. <laughs> Any of those. Mmm. The design is pretty good. I feel like you're appealing to a very small market. A very <laughs> small market. Great grannies who are probably not going to wear this. It's the kind of thing you'd give your great grandma. As How a old is a great grandma usually? That's, they're your quite old. Your grandparents are great grandparents. So like 80, Can you see 90. your grandma wearing this? I cannot. No, not but, I? but you know what though? Maybe some would. Some would love this kind of thing because it's like I have grandchildren, like that it's, kind of thing. Yes, but it's kind of. I feel like it's more of the. It's more of a kind, it's... Are you okay today? <laughs> I feel like it would be better, just like as a poster, like in a photo frame. For, oh, for good great shout. Grandma. Good shout. So well, you can do that on Redbubble, you can do that on so yeah, many... Yeah, put it on like uh, another product, maybe a mug. Oh, a mug. Good today. <laughs> you are good today. But let's talk about the design. It's a, it would be great on a mug. That is Because also, 
Oh, great granny is like tea. Yeah. Especially Hot in drinks. this country. I mean, I don't. This is an American one because of well, mum M O M. But everyone likes a good tea. So. Uh, but yeah, um, the design is very busy. I'd get rid of the hearts and I'd get rid of I'd whatever those of are. Things. Those flowery things. And the flowery things. But you've kept with like the right fonts. You've got two fonts. It looks like, yeah, you've got two yeah. fonts and they do match really nicely and the spread I think is really nice and the flowers at the top next to I'm A work really well. The things I think you can get rid of are the hearts, next to mum you've got these two leaf things and then yeah. just under the ribbon for great granny you've got another flowery thing. So if you get rid of those maybe it would look less busy, easy to look at, mm -hmm. um, but other than that I think it's, it's a nice design. Just try it out on maybe a, a poster or a, a coffee mug or something like that. Notebook. Nope, no, Granny used notebook. <laughs> yeah, not a notebook. <laughs> right, moving on. Gaming makes me happy, you not so much. Again, we had one of these designs last week as well. They're very, very big. They're always trending. Um, I'm seeing a lot of things wrong with this. I don't know about you, but like, it's the first thing that stands out to me are the, the peas. The what? The peas. He hasn't cut out, or she, whoever, hasn't oh, cut yeah, out the, the, inside. A, the inside of the A, P, and P, and it's a different shade of black to the T-shirt, which is, for that, me, it's annoying. Yeah. Um, the thing that sticks out to me is... The random use of blue and red and like why is that G blue and that G's red and all the other letters are red? I think it's trying to denote the diff like one a team blue, a team red. Okay, so have all of that side blue then. Right, so under G, M and H should also be blue, I agree. Also, the shading on the H is that way, but then the shading on the Y is that way, which goes against all laws of shading. Yeah, and the M. Um... Usually the way shading works is the sun hits and then it leaves a shadow, right? It's virtually impossible to have a shadow this way and then a shadow this way next to two things. I don't even know how that would work. Not sure. Um, the phrase is good, but I think you can make this. In my opinion, I think the design should be a lot better. The font needs to change. You've got too many controllers, way too many colors. It looks like you've got Pac-Man there, which yeah. is probably not allowed, just gonna say. Um, is this white, what's that? Is that those gaming? are controller buttons. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if they're needed. They're not needed. You're right. They're not needed. I'd probably get rid of the whole of the top stuff and just have stuff below. Just have stuff below it. Okay, fair. And I would change the font of you not so much. Nothing. Yeah, it gets right. lost a bit. Moving on. Can we move on? Yeah. Any final words? Give some final words <laughs> for the audience for for everyone watching. I'd maybe match up the color red of the controller and the font more. Okay. And also the yellow controller, if you're sticking with yellow. Sorry, what? If you're sticking with yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We got some comments saying Lauren didn't talk loud enough last episode. I'm trying episode. to be louder. So now we're, making, we're taking the piss a bit, but not really. You know, I, I agreed with the comments. Right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> it's a fart. Oh, I just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I just Very noticed. Funny. That's brilliant. In my book, it's a little butt cheek. It's so cute, little butt cheek. In my book, this design is perfect. Yeah, I can't, I, like I can't it. add anything. The font says it all. I like how you've gone for a big inhale big, yeah. beginning, and then it gets smaller, and then you've done the opposite for exhale. Although I'd say it should be the other way around. Technically, you inhale and you have a small amount, and oh, you yeah. get a bigger amount. Fart. And then yeah. exhale, you let it all out. I like it. It's a brilliant design. In fact, you know, I could. I think, like for example, I could I could see myself buying that for Abby. <laughs> I'm not sure about the fart part. No, that's the reason why I would. It's funny. <laughs> right, moving on. Oh, Ooh. okay. Right. Uh, Want to know what happened to the last guy that tried to pet me? Mess around and find out. So the hmm. first thing for me. Sorry, I always talk first. I'm gonna say the first thing. Uh, oh, sh mm, okay. The the realism. Of yeah, the I was gonna say that really? too. Yeah. Nice. N neither of us are fans of realistic. Like an actual picture. Llamas so or realistic true. animals. This is a llama, but realistic. Is that that's a llama? It's not right? a llama. Yes, it is a llama. Is it? What is it? I don't know. It's, it's like a llama. Horns. Maybe it's a llama. That's the ears. Yeah, it's a llama. It's a llama. Anyways, the, the the idea of putting a realistic image, especially when it's an animal, on a t-shirt just doesn't go. But then you've also kind of mixed it with blue background, with a yellow. It's it's like the blue is the sky, but then it's not the real sky, but the photo is real. What it looks like you've gone for here is a cartoon comic strip effect with the blue, yeah. the yellow, and the 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 text. The text. Because I mean, if anyone's read a comic book, that's how that's how it works. You know, that's how the speech bubble works. So on that note, it's 
perfect. The only thing you have to do is turn this llama into a comic, cartoony character. Um, and this, if you don't have like any way to do that, you can use a Photoshop action or, you know, there's probably tons of iPhone apps that turn an image into a cartoon. Slap that on and then you've got yourself a really cool design. Do you think the text is too small or is that just the style? No, it's just, I mean, it's the same font. It's the right style. Well, I, no. know, I know you say you don't want to be staring at a t-shirt for too long. But then there's some where it makes sense because the oh. whole idea of this t-shirt will make it look like a comic strip. Right. Comic strip words are small. It would look really True. weird if they were big. Um, True. And it's maybe make it a square if it's meant to be a comic strip. Oh, good idea as well. Because then it stand like the speech bubbles will stand out more as and, a circle. You know, you could take this a whole lot further. You could have three squares and add three comic strips and <laughs> kind of like show a story. I've never tried I've never seen that on a t-shirt before, like a comic strip on a t-shirt. So the first would be, you know The first bubble. The not just the first bubble, but this llama beating up someone. And the next would be this. And then the third would be him beating up the next person because they clearly didn't listen to him. I don't know, something so, that was terrible, but something that was like terrible. that. Terrible. Thanks. You're Thanks welcome. for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Next. Sure. Midtown Crossing Light. I really like this. It looks like you've drawn this sashay. yourself. And I think it's really good. Don't walk, walk, sashay. I think it's really, really good. For me, can I go first this time? Go. The only thing I would say for me is the Don't Walk, Walk sashay should be the same font as Midtown Crossing Light light because midtown crossing light is a perfect font it really goes with the vibe of this t-shirt with the artist artistic drawings mm. but then you've got this thick what looks like impact or bold font which doesn't really fit with the artist artistic kind of shading and drawing and coloring that's going on there but other than that i think it's perfect yeah i don't really have any comments on it but do you agree i th yeah i like it would you make the ooh, would you make the text the same as the traffic light? Or no? I like it's that. It's better that it's a bit fainter. No, I, I, you're right. I would put the same... The Don't Walk Walk sachet should be the same colours. And you've done like that. sachet, maybe do like red, red, yellow, green, blue, red, yellow. Yeah, and you've done that with the walk. It's kind of like a very yeah, similar green. Yeah, the walk's green. very similar. It's just the, the Don't Walk is a, is a very faint pink. Um, so yeah, match those colours up as well. Nice input. I like Thank that. Thank you. Right, moving on. Okay. If you click it, you can see the, the what, that's a grunge border that they've yeah, put yeah. in. But my issue with this is the grunge, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. And this is why we should have used the other iPad. But the grunge border is is hard. It's hard edged. Um, so I think what's happened here is I remember I made a video on how to add a grunge effect. Um, and what you've done is you, you've done everything right. But you've grunge put, is on the background, you've not put, the image. Yeah, you've put the grunge effect on the wrong way around. You need to flip the grunge effect so that the image is kind of cut out all and you don't have any black border because at the moment i know you can't see it in the video but i have seen this on a white background and it's a hard edged black border so you want to get rid of that mm -hmm. and um so it's very simple all you have to do is select all of the grunge backspace and there you go you've got yourself a grunge background um in terms of the image is this allowed i don't see why not um, like the fedex bit don't know um well, I'm assuming they've taken the photo, and then also if you go in here, and then all that is. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, New York, say New York City. Yeah. Look, we're not lawyers. You mm -hmm. should check if this is allowed. We don't know if this is allowed. In terms of the design, I actually kind of like it. It's very iconic. I kind of wish um, the FedEx guy wasn't there. Yeah, I would try and find the picture or remove or Photoshop it to a point where the FedEx isn't there. I agree, because I like just the yellow. Also, I'd get rid of the people. I like just the yellow. Yeah, I like how it's the yellow, the yellow, the yellow. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's it's solid. You got you're going for a solid idea. I like this kind of design. Same. Nice. Moving on. Different. I think it might be the last one. Nope. Mm -hmm. Two more. Happy Valentine's Day. Want a big wet one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I recognise this drawing from a previous episode. This is kind of like Royal Doll. I said this last time. Do you not see like a Royal Doll vibe? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Kids. At last time I said change the font to match the Royal Doll vibe yeah. and I can see you've changed the font. But I don't think it matches though. I don't think you've changed it to the right font, that's what I was saying. You've changed the font, so well done for taking action on that, but I think you should change the font again and try and find the same kind of 
scripty, drawing y, but yeah, the font. It's hard to say. Oh, yeah, I don't know which one, but it's definitely something. I can't out there. think of the right font, but yeah, look a bit harder for a font that matches the Not picture. It's bold and black. In terms of the phrase, it's absolutely hilarious. I love the phrase. The picture is a really, really, really good picture. Great art. I like that it's a heart. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Um, really, really cool. Just change that font a bit and get it uploaded straight away, by the way, because Valentine's Day is around the corner. So Redbubble might be a bit too late, but still try. Um, and if not Redbubble, definitely upload it to Amazon if you can, if you're like part of Amazon Merch, because Prime is much faster than pretty much any other print-on-demand site. So definitely give that a go. Anything you want to add? Mm, I'm just thinking. Would you put Happy Valentine's Day above and want a big wet one below? Potentially. With the picture in the middle. Yeah, I like that. Because otherwise bit, you read it, you read it I'm too reading much. It, Happy Valentine's Day, Happy, Happy Valentine's Day, want a big wet one. There's just like a lot of text. It's like a wall of text in a way. Yeah. Um, I agree. I do agree. I usually agree with you. You do. Next. I kind of have to, but <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> Shake it till you make it. I, I, put, I like this. Okay, so... I like this because I love the phrase, fake it till you make it, even though you shouldn't really live like that. That's not the best thing to do. Um, it ends up being a very expensive lifestyle, and I've seen people do it, and I don't recommend. Um, but shake it till you make it. I thought that was really good. I thought it was really funny, um, and it really works. And I actually kind of like every aspect of it. The font works, the drink works, the colors work. I would say try it on a black t-shirt because black is one of the most popular colors. Um, and also what could be funny is to have this design on a coffee mug because that's the one thing you do not want to shake <laughs> <laughs> so that could be coffee just everywhere. that could be really really funny um, but another thing it could go on is a, um, a travel mug so there's there's flasks that you can you sell on Redbubble I don't know there are other platforms that sell them as well yeah. to have shake it so you make it on the side of that could be really cool as well as that also a sticker, a sticker. I was going to say um, sticker yeah but I said it first okay hmm but, um, but yeah, I think this yeah. design could be used on a lot of different mediums. It could look really cool. And uh, and I don't think it needs any editing. I think it's really perfect. No. So again, Maybe if you put it on well black, done. you might have to do a bit of something with the lid. Cause just change the lid to white. Yeah. And then it's easy. Inverted. Change the arrows in the lid to white and you're good. Yeah. Um, but other than that, that is it for today's um, Are Your Designs Any Good episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again... Let me know in the comments, just for Lauren's ego, if you liked her being here. <laughs> was if, I louder this time? <laughs> was she louder this time? Was it a better episode? Um, I really liked it. And again, if you want to submit any artwork, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you, or I'll see them, in tomorrow's episode, video. And next week, maybe Lauren will see you back. in next week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.